All right, now I know most people have gone through something like this before. You lock yourself out of your house because you're not paying attention. Now you gotta squeeze your fat butt through a window like an idiot. So I figured I'd tell the story about when I locked myself out of the duplex that I used to live in. So I wake up one morning, I got the whole house to myself. My roommate Brewer's already at work slinging cigarettes at the Circle K, but I noticed that his dog's in my room and she's looking at me like, hey, asshole, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. You gonna take me outside or do I gotta shit on the living room floor like some kind of Olsen twin? So I take Brewer's dog out in the back backyard. I'm still in my boxers and shit, half awake. Brewer's dog's out there taking a dump. Well, I can't go when you're watching me, you big pervert. So we go to head back inside, but I realize that we can't because I shut the back door and the back door locks automatically. Oh boy, I think I just fucked myself. Brewer's dog's looking at me like, oh, you stupid asshole. You locked us out of the house? It's fucking November out here. We're gonna die. So I go to the front door and start ringing the doorbell. I'm hoping that the neighbor downstairs is home and he can let us in. There's people walking down the street and shit. Oh, What's that naked guy doing to that dog? I don't know. What a pervert. So now I'm starting to panic a little bit. I hurry up and run to the side door on the house. And to my surprise, it actually opens. But it only opens like three inches because there's a goddamn chain lock on the door. Goddamn stupid chain locks. We're going to die out here, dog. We're going to die and it's going to be all my fault. So I take my naked ass over the garage and try to come up with a game plan. I find this rusty ass axe in there looking like it's from the Great Depression. So now I'm outside chopping away at this goddamn chain lock looking like some kind of pantless serial killer killer and shit. Holy smokes, should we call the police? Uh, no, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see this. I don't fuck around with people that don't wear pants. I get like six swings in, and instead of breaking the chain lock, I break the goddamn axe instead. So now, like I mentioned before, I gotta try to fit my fat butt through a window. But we live on the second story. How the hell am I gonna get through a window that high? What, am I gonna fucking pole vault my ass up there? So I go back to the garage, and this time I grab a 30-foot extension ladder. Now, I was 19 years old at the time. What the hell do I know about ladders? Apparently, you're supposed to have a ladder at a 75 degree angle from the house. But I didn't do that. Instead, I set it up like an asshole, spread out all willy-nilly. Well, imagine to my surprise when I got two-thirds of the way up and the whole ladder slides out from underneath me like some kind of goddamn Home Alone booby trap. I fall to the ground, land on my ankle sideways. Brewer's dog's just staring at me. Oh my god, we're gonna die out here in the elements thanks to you, you big idiot. All right, to hell with the ladder since I damn near broke my ankle. What if I go through one of the neighbor's windows instead and then go upstairs? That's breaking and entering, you idiot. You want to go to jail? Well, I mean, this is my house, too, technically. I'd just be breaking into the wrong half of the house. So I open up the window to my neighbor's bedroom, and I hop inside. Now, it's a really weird feeling breaking into somebody else's house. I gotta say, I was quite uncomfortable doing it. Okay, this is no big deal. It's just a class 5 felony, after all. I start walking towards the door, when all of a sudden, I hear another door open. And it's my fucking neighbor walking into his house. Or his half of the house, rather. And here I am, in my goddamn skivvies, in the middle of his bedroom. He's gonna come in here thinking I'm rifling through all his shit. I'm gonna get arrested. I'm probably gonna be on the news and shit. Thank you for joining us at 13 o'clock news. This just in, we have a local pervert that was caught red-handed breaking into houses. We have Dan Peterson on the scene. Dan, what do you have for us? Well, Tom, it appears this weirdo got all naked and then broke into the wrong half of his house. Wow, what a pervert, Dan. What the fuck is the matter with that guy? I don't know, Tom, but we also think that he sexually assaulted this dog as well. Back to you. So I freak out, start heading back for the window. My ankle's all screwed up. I'm hobbling along like Nancy Kerrigan and shit. I throw myself out the window like the building's on fire. Hurry up and shut the window. Okay, we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. I hurry up and go to the front of the house and ring the door bell again. Oh, hey there, neighbor. You're probably wondering why I'm out here in my underwear with this dog. I assure you it's nothing sexual. Now, can you please let us in the house before I have to commit another felony? BruceDude.com